There's no boss I've killed more times on old school RuneScape than Zora. If you've been following me for a while, then you'll know that I went 3,200 kills dry on my Iron Man for the Toxic Blowpipe, and then four days later, I got hacked. However, this isn't the full truth. I am, in fact, a liar. Yeah, that's right, because I got it on 1,029 kills and double death at the same time, so I didn't pick it up. As some of you may remember, I died on my Hardcore Iron Man two years ago to Zora as well. So you could say me and Zora aren't the greatest of friends. But now I'm back on my third account, Pure Mission, and it's time for revenge. Hello and welcome to another video on the Pure Iron Man. I'm one defense, I'm 57 combat, and I'm going to try and kill Zora this episode. I really enjoy challenging myself on this account, and if you enjoy watching the videos, please leave me a like because it really does help me get into recommended. I'm going to try and kill Zora for fun, and there's the potential to hit the blowpipe, hit an onyx, hit a magic fang, all these good loots along the way that we can get as well. If you keep checking back for these videos and you're not subscribed, I would really appreciate a subscription. I'm trying to hit 30,000 by Christmas, so if you could do that, that would be great. And without further ado, I'll see you in the clips. Just alking the last of you short bows, inefficiency scape is real, but I don't care. I wanted the money and I wanted the fletching XP. Because now I've got 68 fletching, I can boost and make onyx bolt tips and make even more money for runes. Hey, we got the fletching boost at least, didn't get the cooking boost. I'm trying to do sharks and the bolt tips at the same time to save some time, save some spices. Because nobody likes catching rats with the cat in the dungeon. It's probably one of the worst things in RuneScape. But there we go. Onyx bolts are done. They're going to out for 8k each or so. So it gives me a bit more cash for some runes. And now I've got the cooking boost. I can go and cook some of the sharks I fished last episode. Got the heron pet. <laughs> Loving life. There's no cooking pet, unfortunately. I don't know. What would it be? What would a cooking pet be? A little pan follows you around the game or something. But yeah, cooking sharks. Hopefully you don't burn too many of these. I should probably three tick them so I save a little bit more time. Little tip if you're ever boosting anything. Make sure you start fresh inventory as it's about to take down. There you go. You see 79 cooking. And I can still cook sharks. So now I can cook my whole invo with 79. There we are. I needed the sharks because they heal 20 and they only had monkfish before. So they're the best food on the account. Minus the like 12 manta rays or something I've got. So they're going to really help on the Zora kills. Obviously healing 20 over the 16. It's probably going to be the difference whether I can do it or not. So I've head over to Jiminua's jungle store to buy some anti-poison. You can buy 10 at a time, and that's pretty good, considering I don't have anti-venoms or anything like that, because I don't have the herbal level. And all anti-poisons act the same, so no need for sleep. This man must have taken so much money off me in my time playing Iron Man. I swear I'm always buying blood runes at the Magic Guild, but I'm buying blood because I've opted to use Fire Wave for Zora. But it's pretty expensive. And last but not least, Anf Alphonse the Waiter... I've heard he's like a friend's brother or something. He stocks the Karambans and he sells them. It's his passion. So there we go. I'm ready to kill Zora. Here we go. Looking sexy with our final gear set up. Wizzy boots. I'll never get over those. Master Wand always looks sick. Need another recoil out the bank as well. But I've opted to use Fire Wave. And I think I'm looking pretty good. I can hit up to 30s in this gear. 73 mage bonus, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Hopefully I can get this kill. Let's do this. Now I'm just kidding. I AFK'd for hours on end and <laughs> got 80 cooking. So I boosted up for sharks for nothing so I can finish the rest of those. So I might be doing a few more than one Zora kill. We'll see where we end up in this episode. But that's a very nice level to get. Another 80 stat on the account. And there we go. There's all the sharks finished cooking. Eventually I'll be able to do minnows and I'll be able to rattle through the cooking levels from that. But for now, I'm just going to fish sharks manually if I need them for a challenge like this. There we go, 500 sharks. That will probably get me 20 kills, maybe more. I don't know how this is going to go. Hopefully, I can use monkfish. So, in order to do Zora, I first have to come and complete the Regicide quest. So, there we go. I only fell twice in the Underground Pass. It wasn't as bad as I remember it being. It's not actually that long of a quest. But we get 13k agility XP there and 15k GP, which is pretty nice. It's going to pay for some blood runes. And yeah, now that's out of the way. There's only one thing for it. We have to go and slay Zora. Let's go. I'm feeling like I can do this. Here goes then. It's time. It is time. The first time entering Zora. Wait, what? But I really want to ride the boat. You display complete ignorance for our sacred rites. 
What? Basically, Zora has four rotations, a range, a mage, a melee, and a melee. And in order to kill it with mage only, I'm going to be focusing solely on the range rotation. And I'd advise this if you're new to Zora and you don't know what you're doing. You can learn one rotation and then log out if you don't get your desired rotation at the start. It really helps with memorizing how to kill it. Oh, this is the one. This one's the one. Hopefully, hopefully I remember what I'm doing. I haven't killed Zora in a long time, so don't expect this to go well. Right, okay, I should have it. Crushing it. First Zora kill ever, let's go. Level 57. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? I'm excited. Ooh, Magic Seed. It's pretty nice first kill. Got Magic Seed, Zora Scales, Rudors. What's that looking like? I mean, none of it's immediately useful, but in the long term, it's going to be useful. That went very well. That did go very well. I was expecting it to go way worse than that. Yeah, I'm in the wrong place. No. What? Wait, what? Oh, it's a ra it's a flipping random one, wasn't it? Oh, I should I should have understood that though. Ooh, two hundred law runes. That is a really nice loot, to be fair. Third KC. What's this one going to be? This one's the one. Let's go. I will say nothing. All of these kills were actually done on live stream. So if that interests you, why not come check me out? You know, I always enjoy speaking to you and I feel like we're growing a good community over on Twitch. Sometimes it goes well, sometimes it doesn't go so well. But yeah, I've been enjoying the streams, guys. Shout out to everyone that gets involved. So after a few kills, I did actually get more comfortable killing Major only Zora. After all, I've killed 3,000 of them on my main Iron Man, so it was about time that I stepped up and started using Ivan's Blast because it's so much cheaper and you save pages of the Tome of Fire. And I want to save some of those for doing PKing and stuff like that. I also decided to start bringing Mithril Darts. So when I was hiding from the Mage form, which absolutely would destroy me, I could kill some of the Snakelings by praying Mage and then just hitting them once with the darts so I don't have to take damage from recoiling them. A lot of people said, why not range? And it's because you'd get completely destroyed by the range attacks and you'd run out of food by the end of the kill. Some kills took over eight minutes to complete and I wouldn't be able to survive that long if I had to tank the blue phases. Also, my range level's only 68 and I don't have any ranging potions, so I probably wouldn't hit that much anyway. So with all this in mind, I perfected my strategy and set out to kill Zora over and over and over again. Yes, I finished it. Ooh, that was close. I'm going to die, though, now. Zora scales, snake skin, and papaya seeds. Worth, man. 8 minutes, 07 kill. Nice. A lot cleaner. Oh, would you look at that. Zora tellies. That is beautiful. Oh, just what I wanted. Battle sounds flags. Give me, give me, give me. Get up. Uh, telly, 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 telly. Right, okay. We're just going to die here. R.I.P. That's close oh my god that's so close congratulations on joining the blowpipe stream oh my look at that loot dragon halley and a spirit seed wow shouldn't have talked that much talk this one's the one jordan you're saying blowpipe i'm saying spirit seed come on now that's pretty rare isn't it spirit seed kill 50 last kill Mate, loop half of Gi. Now, I actually ended up staying at Zora way longer than I thought I was initially. <laughs> initially, I was only going for like one or two kills. And I ended up staying for 50kc. And here is the loop. It's not all of it, and it's definitely not accurate. I've used some. And yeah, about six mil. That's probably around right. We've got 10,000 scales. So when we eventually get that blowpipe, we will be balling. But I won't be doing Zora kills for quite a while now because... I need to go back when it's more efficient. I mean, the average kill was probably around six and a half minutes, ranging anywhere from four minutes 30, which I think was my PB, to like 8.50. Like, honestly, some of the kills were awful. So yeah, it's pretty nice loot, pretty nice foundations to put onto the account. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy it. It really does help me out. And I will see you in the next video.
after the weekend. So I hope you enjoy the weekend and I'll see you in that one.